Hello, my name is Flexinja and I'm here to teach you how to play the Shadow Man himself in more of an aggressive fashion. For those that don't know me, I've hit Immortal 2 in the closed beta and this current rank season and I eventually plan to climb to Radiant as soon as I get better as a player myself and I overall touch up on my omen skills. But for now, I'm going to be showing you how to play an aggressive omen from my point of view because I know a lot of you guys are asking for a guide and I've been delaying it so I apologize for that. So without further ado, let's get into the guide. It's going to cover the basics, more advanced tips and tricks. It's going to cover uh, the do's and don'ts. I mean, it's going to cover pretty much everything. I'm going to go over my thought process for each play that I show. And overall, I hope you guys enjoy the guide. Appreciate it. Let's go over Omen's four abilities and what you need to know about each ability real quick. I will then break down how to use each ability in game with examples from my own gameplay. Omen has a short range teleport called Shrouded Step. Each teleport costs 100 credits and can be used up to 2 times per round. When you teleport, you can see on the minimap how far away the enemies can hear it. As an Omen player, you must be aware of how your teleport sounds to your opponents. Omen's initial teleport is a bit loud, and there's a soft sound that follows of where he teleported to. It's very quiet, especially if there's a lot happening in-game. At a certain distance, you will not be able to hear both Omen's initial teleport and his landing teleport. If you ever get lost inside a smoke, you can use your minimap to guide yourself as you teleport. Additionally, you can teleport to higher elevations for some sweet off angles. The best way to use Omen's teleport aggressively is to learn how to b-hop. To b-hop, run forward and jump. As you're in the air, hold W and D and move your mouse to the right a bit. Once you land, jump again while holding W and then hold A and move your mouse to the left a bit. Rinse and repeat. Omen has a wide skill shot blind that blinds anything in its path called paranoia. It's pretty similar to throwing a bus at the enemy team. You can use your minimap to help direct your paranoia. Paranoia costs 200 credits and it can only be used once per round. This is what it looks like to get blinded by Omen. When blind, you can only hear sounds slightly around you and your minimap will become unusable until the blind goes away. Be aware if you blind an enemy too close, they will still have vision of you. Omen's blind is the only blind in the game that you cannot turn away from. Yeah. Lastly, Omen's paranoia travels through all walls. Stealing sight. Moving along, Omen's signature ability is that he has semi-global smokes, also known as Dark Cover. Shadows traveling. These smokes are completely free and you begin each round with two smokes. Once you use a smoke, you'll gain another back after a 35 second cooldown. This means you could potentially have 4-5 to five smokes per round depending on how long each round lasts. To move his smoke forward, hold your left mouse button and to move it back towards you, hold your right mouse button. Omen has two phases in which he can fire his smokes. He has a standard phase in which he does not visually travel with his smoke and he has a shadow realm phase in which he visually travels with his smoke. You cannot see enemy players through the walls as you travel through the Shadow Realm phase. Using the standard phase, you can use your minimap to guide your smokes. Omen's smokes are hollow and usually attracts enemies to walk inside of them. Your smokes are great for blocking enemy vision, especially snipers, and can be used to gatekeep enemies from pushing certain areas of the map. Omen can throw his smokes across the majority of the map, making him a great lurker as he can still contribute to the team from afar. If you're smoking entrances and doorways, make sure they're deep enough so the enemies don't have the freedom to peek you from different angles as they leave the smoke. This is an example of a poor smoke. His smokes are amazing as he's able to create easy to set up one ways. Keep note that the green triangle lets you know where the smoke will fall. In this case, it will fall and stay on top of the crates. 
Omen can stick his smokes inside of walls to create one-way smokes. This is extremely helpful to hold against pushes and overall deny enemy vision while you can see their feet. For those who want to learn more about one-way smokes on Omen, a player by the name Mo Pork has made a beautiful guide on one-ways and I highly recommend you go check out his channel. With his permission, I will play a snippet of his one-way smoke tutorial as he explains it perfectly. The concept of one-ways work as the following. You are looking for positions where your opponent is forced to be closer to the smoke than you are, creating an angle where you can see their feet while they can see nothing at all. When throwing the smokes, the indicator is slightly offset behind and lower of where the actual detonation is. If you are wondering why smokes are falling through and not working, try aiming deeper into the thickness of the object you are trying to attach to. Most smokes height can be figured out by touching the bottom edge of the spherical indicator with the floor or slightly higher. Certain locations can also be measured, especially when throwing through walls by the triangle indicator attaching to different points on an object or wall. You can make tiny adjustments easier by moving your character forward and backward instead of trying to use your left and right click to move the smoke. If you want to check out more one-way smokes, Mopork's guide does an excellent job at covering the most useful one-ways on all four maps, Split, Bind, Haven, and Ascent. Originally, I was going to cover most one-ways until I saw his video. Mopork definitely deserves more attention and I'd like to see more Omen content creators in the spotlight as I think we can all learn from one another. Again, his video is in the description below. Moving along, Omen's ultimate ability called From the Shadows allows him to teleport anywhere on the map. Omen's ultimate costs 7 charges to use. You earn 1 charge per kill or objective completed. You can cancel his ultimate anytime by pressing the same key. Since you can cancel his ultimate, it serves as a great way to scout and gather info. Enemy players can cancel your ultimate by shooting at it before you spawn in. Just like Omen's teleport, you can see on the minimap how far away enemies can hear you from. This is what it sounds like when Omen uses his ultimate. Same as with the teleport, the further away he uses his ultimate, you cannot hear where he landed. This ultimate also blocks enemies from using their maps. One neat trick on Haven is that you have the options to either alt heaven or hell of a bomb site. To alt heaven, click within the L and to alt hell, click the box to the right of the L. His ultimate can be used to distract enemies and make them give up their positions for your team to push easier. On the attacking side, you can take the spike and plant it in the other bomb site if things get rough. On the defending side, you can use your ultimate to either rotate faster or bait your rotate. His ultimate is a great tool for juking. If your team is getting ready to push a site, you can ult back of the site to pinch enemy players with your team. Before getting into tips and tricks, you need to understand Omen as an agent. Omen is a controller where his main goal is to deny enemy vision. He's a very strong lurker meaning he's good at dealing with potential flanks and gaining map control. Omen also fills the support role as he can help his team since he's equipped with semi-global smokes, a blind that goes through walls, and a global ultimate. However, playing Omen aggressively the way I do isn't always the best choice. It gets difficult to pull off aggressive plays versus Diamond, Immortal, and Radiant players. Instead of forcing aggressive plays, it's better to chill out and wait to play aggressively, especially versus higher elo opponents. Omen starts to become very predictable in higher elo environments. Although he is very predictable, there is always outplay potential. Dying early if I'm the only one that can provide my team smokes will limit my team dramatically and it could cost them the round. If you're wondering how I get the confidence to pull off some of these plays, it's just trial and error. These are just highlights and I die a lot attempting these plays to see what Omen can and cannot do. Every scenario can vary. My favorite part about Omen's kit is that he seems to have an answer to most scenarios and potential to pull off flashy plays. Now that we've gone over some basic fundamentals of Omen, let's get into some tips and tricks with in-game examples from my gameplay. I will first show plays that focus heavily on Omen's teleport, then I will continue down the line with the rest of his skills. Omen's teleport is a great way to change up your position in tight situations. Let's go, baby. Oh, the clip! Oh, Sage placed an awkward wall, and I had to change up my position fast because I'd most likely lose if I were to try and take fights pushing her wall 1v3. 
If you know you're about to teleport behind someone, turning around 180 degrees as you teleport will set you up perfectly. Okay. You're sick, nasty, Chris. I throw a smoke in Cypher's face, and right as it blooms, I teleport, which is something he never expected. These types of plays aren't always necessary, but sometimes it's about the style points. Teleport is best used when there's a lot of chaos happening. My teammate shoots their vandal, and I teleport into mid unnoticed. I'm in mid. Still on ramp. His teleport can also be used to juke or fake out the enemies, also known as a fake TP. In this case, it was myth, and I broke his ankles. One more. That's it. Nice. Oh my fucking god, bro. One enemy remaining. Nice. What up, what up? Nice. nice. This man have fake TP. He did it, fake TP! Allah, he's crazy! Don't pussy out! Don't pussy out on me! What? Double cross. Last player standing. Oh my god. That's pretty pog actually. Here's an example of an aggressive B hop teleport play. Without this added movement, I would have been an easy target for Sova, and also getting tagged by the Sova's recon helped me pull off this play as he thought I was still outside the doors. In this next clip, I'm versus Skadoodle and some of his friends. I fake TP the hookah teleporter on bind and have my sage wall off mid immediately behind me. The enemy team walks mid, spotting the sage wall and doesn't expect me to be in the corner. Be aware that this play is easy to read at higher elos. Now let's watch that play as it happens in real time. You know? I don't see anything. Nice. Smoke, smoke. Be out of shower. He's shower, he's shower. Fake teleporting using the portals on bind can be a lot of fun. One enemy remains. For this next clip, I know Breach is on the right side of B bomb site, so I throw a high smoke blocking his vision. I then safely teleport on top of generator over Sage's wall, killing both Sage and Breach. Please. You're disgusting, bro. Getting tagged by Sova's recon drone can be a good thing if you teleport on the last tick. <laughs> Using a teleport to bait your teammates can also be pretty effective if you play it right. This play is pretty interesting. I hear two footsteps leave site as my team shows mid, and I TP over Cypher's traps, assuming site is now clear. I catch Brimstone wandering to site as he's playing on his iPad. Oh, we can just go in. I then drop a smoke, blind through it, catching Omen, and then take out Sage for a triple. Oh, on eco rounds, I typically like to buy a sheriff and try risky plays. I smoke top mid, blind B link, and teleport on top of the wall for a double kill. Cover going out. Oh, he's mid, watch out. Nice. Nice. Omen is pretty good at using the operator because he can change up his position using teleport. Oh, 111. Omen's teleport is great for dodging Sova's ultimate, or things like Brim's airstrike or Raze's rocket. I have to go, Cat. I hit Raze one. Come over. I should. <laughs> Don't be afraid to use other agents' abilities as a way to assist your teleports. In this clip, I paranoia both enemies on site and teleport using Jet's smoke. Last player standing. Let's go, baby. These next plays will focus more on Omen's paranoia. Omen's paranoia is a great tool to use when the enemy team is rushing you on site. I managed to catch four players off guard by blinding through the enemy brimstone smoke as their team pushes. 
Here's a clip of me countering Omen's paranoia by staying close enough to see him as he pushes out of my smoke. I'll slow it down a bit because it can be difficult to spot enemies while you're in paranoia. I quick scope breach and then I throw my paranoia towards Hookah, guessing that Omen might be there due to the placement of his smoke. I paranoia two enemies here and collect them with the sheriff. They had no idea what hit them. Paranoia can be used to create 1v1s as I blind brimstone, take out rays, and then comfortably tuck brimstone in bed. Since paranoia slightly deafens players, following up with a teleport can catch them off guard. Double door, hard near double door. These next plays will focus more on Omen's smokes. This next clip is one of my personal favorites. I'll break it down after you watch the entire play. Nope. Vandal's not it. My nope. guys, hello? Oh, he's got you! Oh my god! <laughs> so I place a smoke down towards market entrance when the enemy, Omen, throws his paranoia at me. As I hear him teleporting, I use my smoke as cover until I hear where he lands. I pop out for my smoke and kill Omen and Market, and then I wait for the enemies to push me. I use my paranoia on Reyna as we pass each other through my smoke and catch Sage and Sovo by surprise, and then I finish Reyna for the nice four piece. Oh. <laughs> Playing on bind, I create a one way smoke using the double stack and A short to get an easy pick onto Ray's. He just knows where I'm at. Okay. It's actually crazy. They smoke me off, so I use my teleport onto triple to get another pick. Oh, they're, on, they're fighting A, they're about to play A. Here's a classic one-way smoke for split while holding A main. There's two lobby, two lobby pushing. In this next clip, I take the hookah portal and I place a smoke at the entrance to hookah and then I teleport over the smoke surprising Raze and Sage, following it up with another TP onto site and surprising Jet. There, right side. You're disgusting, bro. Oh! Uh Let's go, baby. In this next clip, I place a smoke between Raze and I. As the smoke blooms, I teleport on the other side to surprise her. See ya. Tossing a high smoke and waiting for the smoke to bloom, and then teleporting onto an elevated platform can catch people by surprise. I throw a smoke to block off C long and teleport onto the box in C site for an easy pick. This is another example of throwing a high smoke to mask my TP location, but this time I teleported a bit too early. Thankfully, it was enemy's eco round and I managed to get four here. I'm right there, early. Oh my uh, God. I'm you. Oh. No. Ah! These next plays will focus more on Omen's ultimate. As a defender, using your ult for a quick rotate can catch enemies off guard. 30 seconds left. Come on. Holy oh. fuck. That was all of them? Holy fuck! <laughs> as my team rushes B-Site, I ult into the enemy spawn with an AWP to cut off their rotates, assuming no one's gonna fall from B-Site and check spawn. I'm assuming no one's gonna rotate out of B. Just make noise, make noise. Let's go. Early on into Valorant, players didn't know you could use your ultimate to get under heaven on a bomb site of Haven. One of my favorite things to do with Omen's ult is to place a smoke down first, ult heaven, and then teleport into the smoke to catch people off guard. Thank you. Here's another example. Try and solo play here. Oh, I'm going with that. Using your ult and then following up with paranoia can result in some free kills. Oh, that was fucking nice. Nuts. 
Here's another example where I use my alt to rotate and then follow up with paranoia. So, uh, 117. You will yeah. not kill my allies. Yeah. Nice, Chris. You can also use your omen alt to outsmart the other omen players as well. On the better omen. Omen diff. Omen diff. A fun tactic to do is ult behind an enemy and have your rays launch toward them from the other side for a free kill. That's my friend Vetrion, and yes, he's flying towards the cipher at 283 miles per second. He's, oh, <laughs> he's not even looking. Bro, he's looking right at me when I TP. If this ever happens where an omen ults on top of another omen, they should duke it out with their knives. Omen and I just ulted it. Oh my god. Yo, fight me. Yo, fight me. Hey, you doing? FlexNG here again. Uh, this is my very first time doing a tips and tricks slash guide sort of thing. So let me know in the comments how I did. Uh, I'm going to admit. It took a lot longer than I expected. Uh, I got distracted a lot during this process. I didn't expect it to take this long. I also took longer because I moved from Massachusetts to Texas. I had most of it done in Massachusetts, but I scrapped the entire thing because I didn't like how it was turning out. So I, I just uh, started from scratch pretty much this weekend and I've been doing eight to 10 hours of editing every session. So it's been exhausting, but uh. It's, some, it's something new. I, I just don't know how I did with this, breaking down some of my plays and whatnot. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to have another highlight video out in two days. So, appreciate you, and have a good one. Thank you for the 100K on YouTube. Over 100K. Over 100K. 115K now. And 30K plus on Twitch. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Peace. Also, like.